Yes. As you say. What do you need? It will be done.
It will be done. As you say. What do you mean you've never climbed a tree? Oh look, someone's come to play. You have come to play, haven't you? We're playing a guessing game. It's better with more people. Father? Oh, you can tell him I'm fine. Maybe he'll come and stay with us, too. Anyway, you should go if you're not going to play. Kitty finds you distracting. I can't go. Kitty says she can't come, and I'm not leaving her. She'd be lonely. Uh... Hmm, I would not suggest leaving in such hostile company anyhow, Amalia. Look how they act. Of course she's a cat. She just talks, that's all. Talking is simple enough, once you know how. Oh, bug whistles, you're just no fun. I'm going to ignore you now. Nothing you say will convince Amalia to go with you. She loves only me now. I am her friend, while you are just a stranger. I have done nothing. I am all but powerless. The mage made sure of that, didn't he? I cannot leave this chamber. No, Amalia found me. After decades of isolation, her company is... welcome. <sighs> it seems we are at an impasse, so let me propose a compromise of sorts. Release me, mortal, and let me have the girl. Let us return to her father and leave this place forever. Mortals often allow themselves to be blinded by hope. They see what they wish to see. If the father hopes to see his Amalia alive and unharmed, perhaps he will. No! Kitty! <coughs> you will not take the child from me. She shall be mine forever!
What happened to her? Is she in there? Why hasn't she come back? She's dead. Oh, my poor butterfly. Thank you for finding her, at least. I'm grateful. The phrase to activate Shale is Doolan Han. If you still want that bloody thing. I wouldn't if I were you. Now I guess I'll go. I knew that the day would come when someone would find the control rod. And of course, it is another mage. That is what it is. Yes, yes, just my luck. Oh, I suppose it will fuss over me like the last mage once did. Poke and prod and cluck its little tongue. I stood here in this spot and watched the wretched little villagers scurry around me for, oh, I have no idea how long, many, many years. And the villagers had no idea they were being watched. Creepy. <sighs> I was just beginning to get used to the quiet, too. Tell me, are all the villagers dead? Some got away, then. How unfortunate. Familiarity breeds contempt, as they say, and after 30 years as a captive audience, I was as familiar with these villagers as one could possibly be. Not that I wish their fate on them, no. But it did make for a delightful change of pace. Well, go on then. Out with it. What is its command? Entrenched sense of perversity. The last one who held that damnable rod used to call me Gollum. Gollum, fetch me that chair. Do be a good Gollum and squash that insipid bandit. And let's not forget, Gollum, pick me up. I tire of walking. It does have the control rod, doesn't it? I am awake, so it must. I see the control rod, yet I feel... Go on, order me to do something. And, uh... Nothing. I feel nothing. I feel no compulsion to carry out its command. I suppose this means the rod is... Broken? Hmm. I suppose if I can't be commanded, this means I have free will, yes? It is simply, what should I do? I have no memories beyond watching this village for so long. I have no purpose. I find myself at a bit of a loss. 
What about it? It must have awoken me for some reason, no? What did it intend to do with me? May I ask what sorts of things it gets up to for which I could be so potentially useful? It refers to the Darkspawn, the very creatures that destroyed this village. The Darkspawn are an evil that must be destroyed, it's true. Though not as evil as the birds. Damnable feathered fiends. I suppose I have two options, do I not? Go with it or go elsewhere? I do not even know what lies beyond this village. Are you certain you want to bring that thing with us? It could be dangerous and large. Good point. Better it than me, anyhow. I will follow it about then, for now. I am called Shale, by the way. This should be interesting.